Hi guys, this is Vinash Sharma and in this session we will see how to use the if function in Power BI. This Jax if function is a decision making function. Means you supply a expression and you supply the value and those value returns on the basis of the evaluation of the expression. It means the expression evaluates and it returns true or false. As you can see in the syntax if then expression comma true means if expression is true then the first value return otherwise in case of the uh, false the second value will return as you can see in the example suppose I am calculating the grade on the basis of the percentage so grade equal to if percentage greater than 80 in case of true then A will return and if the condition false then B will return the same thing nested if it means we can use the if within the another if. Suppose we have if percentage greater than 80 then this is the this will return in case of the true and if the condition is not true then in, in the false we can place another if condition. If percentage greater than 40 then it will return the B otherwise C. So this way we can use the nested if in Power BI text. How the if function works in Power BI? we can understand with this diagram or flowchart. So in, in function you supply the percentage then this is the condition. So the function will check the condition if the percentage greater than 80 and true in case of true or yes then return grade A or false then grade returns grade B. So this is the way the single if function works and in case of the nested if function you can add the more condition within the parent if function as you can see in the diagram then percentage then we check the percentage greater than 80 then returns grade A and if the condition false then we have another condition in another condition we check the, if the percentage greater than 40 yes then grade B if no then grade C so this way we can add the more and more condition let us see how to use the if function in Power BI? First of all, we have some data in Excel sheet. We check that data. So we have the roll number, student name, class, and the marks in English, Math, Science. In this Excel sheet, I have three worksheet: sales summary, student marks, and sample code. For the, your practice, you can download this um, Excel sheet. I have given a link on the description. So from there, you can download this file. So using this data of the students I have to calculate the mark sheet for each and every student. Let's see how to do it. As you can see the right side we have a table that is the student marks and data already lo loaded. Okay now we go to the data. So first of all we have to calculate the total of three subjects Then create a column. So we are creating column, new column that is the column total and we are adding the marks of three subjects. Then enter. Now we have the total of three subjects English, Math in each row. In each row. And next step is calculate the percentage. Again new column. column total say divide by 3 then enter now format this one column total then decimal now we have the percentage or you can say we have the average now we have to assign the grade on the basis of the percentage for that purpose we will use the if statement with nested if. So again new formula, new column, then this time grade and 
so we have to calculate the grade on the basis of the percentage so if statement once you type in statement then you can see the number of par parameters we need to supply first of all it's a expression so percentage then say 80 this is the expression which result, results in the true or false if it is true then grade a if it is false then grade b so first of all expression then comma the value for the true and after comma the second value for the false enter so you can see the grade has been assigned on the basis of the percentage first of all we have the 73.33 so it's below 80 then grade b then grade a then grade b suppose i want to define the range for assigning the grade range means like between the 40 60 and uh, between the 70 80 this kind of range i want to define for for grading system so i have to apply that nested diff So the rule is you have to define the if statement within the parent if statement b is the else part so remove this b1 and define another if statement here if say percentage greater than 70 and now i have to combine two condition I have to combine the range 70 and 80 for that purpose we have another function in the dax and so and how it is supply this one and and then comma another condition this and operator needs two condition say 80 then percentage B then C so you can see so within this if statement we are using the another if statement and within this if we are using the and operator in and we have to supply two condition two range 70 greater than 70 and less than 80 so if this is true then result is b otherwise it's c so so you can see this one the 40.33 this is the c because this is not in the range of 70 or 80 then this is the false so our data is ready now how to visualize this mark sheet on the visual component on a axis put the grade In legion student's name and values say column total so you can see on the a-axis we have the grade B grade B grade A grade C and we are there you can see the number of students on the grade B four students in a grade two students and C there are one students you can see the details of the students name of the students and total of the students so this way we can use the if statement with the next if statement and visualize the data on the report okay let us do one more example of the if else statement so we have the data sales and net sales we have the years from 2000 to 10 and then the figures of the sales so we have the sales summary table data already uploaded and go to data then you can check the data so what we do we have to create a criteria for the range of this sales so high sales, medium sales and low sales. For that purpose, we will we'll have a new formula and new calculated column. New column. This time say sales status. And here I have copied the formula because the logic is same. Already we uh, I discussed. So this time we have the if statement and the column is sales summary greater than 5 then green 
this is the value and within this if statement we have another if statement and the within the this this if statement we have the and so again we in the and we have two expression or two condition sales range greater than 3000 and less than 5000 if yes then yellow otherwise red so if i execute this formula so you can see in this column we have the values the name of the colors yellow red green so these colors or these status has been assigned according to the range of the sales now how to visualize this data on the visual component we will draw a table in this table then year of sales and net sales then sales status so you can see this table the first column is the year of sales and second the net sales and third one is the sales status that is the new calculated column so you can see in sales status column we have the name of the colors green means in the range one is highest sale yellow means medium sales and red means low sales so what we done now what we do now we want the color actual color on the basis of the status for that purpose in the table you go to the conditional formatting and then then select sales status column here first one is the background color by default it's off make it on once you make it on a dialog box appears so for the conditional formatting i have another video you can check that video the format by field value this field value will read the value from the column and in the column we have the name of the color so according to the color it will change the background color of the cells say so make it ok and now we can see this is green this is the high sales yellow medium sales and red means this is the low sales so this way you can use the if and nested if and format the your reports so guys this was all about the that's if else statement i hope you understood everything thanks for watching the video